Hello, everyone. My name is Hannah Coomer. I am the music director here at St. John's Lutheran Church and School, and I also am the K through eighth grade music teacher. I'm here today is Reformation, and I'm here to tell us a little bit about our favorite hymn, A Mighty Fortress Is Our God. All of my information is coming from this book here, the Lutheran uh, Service Book Companion to the Hymns. So let's get into it. So first off, A Mighty Fortress Is Our God is a German hymn written by Martin Luther himself. It was originally, obviously it was originally in German and the words for that were Ein Feste Berg. Um, the reason it was written between 1527 and 1529. The reason it was written was it was written originally as a battle hymn or also in a way a hymn of comfort as well if you look at the words. Um, the reason why they why Luther wrote a battle hymn was because Turkish forces were threatening the German border and there were also there was also a serious illness going on and then also there was a the Catholic, like a huge theological fight going on between Catholics and radical Protestants at that point, which obviously brings us to our Reformation time. Um, but because of that, Luther wrote this battle hymn of the Reformation, or the or a comfort, a hymn of comfort. Um, if you actually look at the tune to six fifty six, uh, "My Fortress Is Our God," it sounds very much like a march and stuff like that. Actually, interesting enough, there are two tunes to A Mighty Fortress Is Our God. In our LSB, we actually have both of them. It is 656. A mighty, a mighty fortress is our God, a trusting shield and weapon. He helps us through the bum 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 bum. Or there's also 657, which goes, A mighty fortress is our God, a trusting shield and weapon. Um, the reason for the two tunes is actually simply because 656 was our original tune, but over time, sometime in the 17th century, uh, the spaces were just so lively and su and everything, and they were all being sung like acoustically. And because of how live sound is, because so here's a little thing about me about sound, it bounces off walls and everything. And the more it bounces, the like more delayed you hear it. So throughout time, it started slowing down by a lot to the point where we eventually couldn't even tell what the actual rhythm was anymore. So we actually had to get another tune for it, which we had the very basics of what the tune was, but not exactly the full on rhythm. So that's how 657 was created. Uh, C.F.W. Walther, um, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod's first president, took the time. He was one of he wrote one of our first hymnals, the uh, C.F.W. Walther hymnal, and he took the time to teach his congregation the original tune to "A Mighty Fortress," and that's how we still know it now to this day. So I hope you really enjoyed the uh, fun facts about "A Mighty Fortress Is Our God." Um, one more thing before we actually leave. So the words for our hymn actually come from Psalm 46. And here is a nice example of what I want to leave us with. So in Psalm 46, verse 1, the words are, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. In our, um, a mighty fortress is our God. The words are, a mighty fortress is our God, a trusty shield and weapon. He helps us free from every need that hath us now or taken. So I hope that was interesting for you guys learning a little history about our hymns. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a very blessed Reformation. Reformation. Bye.